Hey now. Does anybody remember this poster? This was from 1984. God, love this thing. I've had this ever since I was a kid. I think ever, uh, man, ever since I was probably six. And um, this thing has been through the fire. I mean, this thing has literally survived a house fire. Um, I mean, I actually, I have all the respect in the world for this thing. Honestly, it's it, it, this poster, this Masters of the Universe poster. Um, I mean, it, this thing totally, it, it captured my imagination back then, and it still does. I love this thing. I love the color on it. This was, the art was done by William George, and he did, I think, a lot of the uh, poster art and the, um, I think, packaging art for Masters of the Universe. That To me, that's why it, it sold so well, in my opinion, because, I mean, it just it had just great intensity. Love the art on this. Love the color. Love the color on uh, Battle Cat. And Panthor, I mean, it, it just sets this thing off perfectly. And it's not in any collectible shape, but um, again, it's mine. So I love this thing. Love this piece so much. Matter of fact, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll use this as the backdrop of my video here. So without further ado, let's get the toy chest underway. Woo! Uh, come on. Come on out. Come on out. Let's start the game off with, this is an Encore reissue of uh, Omega Supreme. Uh, come here. Uh, I never had this kid, I never had this uh, figure when I was a kid. So, uh, I, 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 for, some re for some reason, I always wanted it, but I never really asked for it. You know what I mean? But I dreamt of owning this. Dreamt of it. And, uh. I bought this from Big Bad Toy Store however many years ago, and it was on sale for like, I think it originally went for like a hundred something, but it went on sale for like 77 bucks, and I'm like, and I think maybe shipping was free, I forget, but um, when I saw it was 77 bucks, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get two of these. So here's the box for the loose one, and that one is still sealed up right there. Love me some Omega Supreme. Do you hear me? Ugh. It's still, I think it's still, it still works. Love you. Meow. Meow. <laughs> All right. Quite a few items to get through. You know what? Let's go with something that I promised to show you uh, a while ago. Here is the Mask Thunderhawk. Easily one of my favorite uh, toys in the collection. Listen, I'm going to tell you straight up, right now, my collection is not that extensive, but it's mine. And I guarantee you there's some things in here that some of y'all would love to have. All right. So, but Thunderhawk, again, like I said, was still sealed up. Now, the packaging is dented on the back. Like so, I think I paid 350 for this. To me, it was totally worth it. I know for a perfect condition one, I was more than willing to pay like 500. So, like when this popped up, it's still sealed up. Um, I I had to jump all over it. So for 350, I thought it was worth it. I love mask. Look for me, uh, you have the holy trinity of 80s toys, 80s properties. You have Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Masters of the Universe. Holy trinity. And Mask is a close fourth. Very, very close fourth. So, love Mask. Hell yeah. All right, let's, let's twirl it around again, damn it. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. Now, here's something I totally forgot I had. Pee-wee's Playhouse figure. A sealed Pee-wee Herman with his scooter. I bought this from Children's Palace. Does anybody remember Children's Palace? Used to go there all the time. And then, I think around 1985, a Toys R Us opened right across the street. Sucked away a little bit of their business, but I was loyal to... I was loyal the Children's Palace. You hear me? Up until around 1989, then I started going to Toys R Us. But um, I think towards the end of uh, Children's Palace in my area, um, I remember picking this up. I, I think the 
I, I really did a really bad job of preserving this thing, but because the bubble is lifting. But Pee Wee Herman is still in there. Old Paul Rubens, he's still in this mug. Look at you. On the back, these cool figures. I think, I believe, I have that, but I can't. I can't. Magic screen. I have him, but I can't find it. So, no biggie. There we go. All right. Where do? Where, man, where am I gonna go to next? Where am I gonna go to next? Uh, do, 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 do. you know what? Let's take a break from '80s stuff and jump ahead to some uh, 2000s. Now, this is from 2004. The uh, Deadpool figure from Marvel Legends. This is Series 6. I remember I bought this back in 2004 when they were, uh, when they were, I got it at retail price. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. And um, I bought two. I was lucky enough to find two. I opened one up and I sold that loose one about, I want to say about five years ago for 89 bucks a loose one goes for 89 bucks i think it goes for about 100 now and this sealed one i believe goes for around 120 all right so and i've seen it go as high as 140 so yeah i think i'm gonna make it common practice to turn this thing around turn uh all my uh items around here so here we go. Love this thing. If you're a Deadpool fan, your collection is not complete without this. And it comes with dupe. Yay! Look at dupe. Aren't you adorable? Meow. Meow. All right. Where are we going to go to next? Where are we going to go to next? You know what? Let's go with some Captain Power. Love Captain Power. This came out, I think this toy line came out back in 1987. Um, it was a live action and it, it, and it had a live action TV show. And what was really cool is that they had these special lights that would come out and you could interact with, actually interact with the TV show. Just like, it's, just like it shows on the uh, back packaging here. Like the light would shoot out at your PowerJet X-T7 and... And it would make uh, whatever figure that was in here kind of shoot out, you know, like eject out. I thought that was just the coolest thing in the world. But here's the main guy, Captain Power. Uh, I used to watch this every Saturday afternoon when it would come on in my area. Loved me some Captain Power. I, I love everything. Fuck it. But yeah, Tank Ellis and, and Lord Dread. Uh, I remember this girl I liked. She bought this for me for like a Christmas exchange. Not this actual one. I destroyed the, the original one, but Lord Dread. I bought these back in 2002, I believe, for like 10 bucks a piece. I think they still go for that much now, but I would love to would love to get a power jet. Love the power jet. I have to get a I have to get one again. Hell yeah. All right. What where am I going to go to next? Cuz it's it, it, cuz I have all these toys just like strewn about. It looks like Christmas morning. You know what? Let's go with let's go with some Bionic Six. Do you guys remember the Bionic Six? Uh, come on, come on up, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Bionic Six. Again, I bought these back in two thousand two for like ten bucks a piece. I, again, I think they go for that much, but really cool. Love me some Bionic 6. Do, 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 do we are family. Ooh, ooh. They fight for them. And they fight for me. As close as we can be. Ooh, ooh. High on the mountains. Deep in the sea. Do, 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 Bionic, Bionic 6. Ooh, ooh. That was the theme song, and I still remember it. Now, for me, the most popular character had to be Glove, cause he, and he came with this. This looks like a... Uh, I opened these up and put them back in the packaging, but he came with this thing that looks like the uh, Power Glove from uh, Nintendo. I love that thing. And, and whenever I would... Um, 
watch the TV show. I don't know why. That just looks so cool to me. And the coolest thing about uh, the Bionic 6 is on the TV show, when they would, uh, when they would kind of like, uh, kind of power up, as it were, like they had a ring and they had like this little wristband that would, um, that would, that would fit into the, uh, that would fit into, that would, the ring would fit into the, in the band. And they make this really cool motion like that. It looked, it looks a lot cooler than what I'm doing it, but actually, here we go right there. That looks cool to me. That motion looks cool. I don't know why. It just, it just does. So, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? We're going to keep the, uh, the obscure 80s toy shit. The, we're going to keep that going. We're going to keep it going with some Spiral Zone. Does anybody, does anybody know about Spiral Zone? Please tell me you do. Spiral Zone was the shit. It was easily, again, you have the Holy Trinity, another close fourth, okay? This was another great overlooked 80s toy line. A matter of fact, I love Spiral Zone so much, I have like three figures of the main guy, Dirt Courage. Love this guy. He was the man. And what was so cool about Spiral Zone, I mean, as you can see, they they were, I think they look like six or seven inch figures. They were, uh, they were large enough to have like cloth outfits and they were small enough to have their own vehicles. And where is, where's the vehicle? Where's the vehicle? Where's the vehicle? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This cool looking thing right here. And let's take one of the bad guys in the group and put him on the cycle. But seriously, man, this is so cool to me. Now, usually the good guy is on this cycle, but hey, I have a loose bad guy. But how dope is that? Seriously. Freaking spiral zone. It was like a this post-apocalyptic tale. Uh, the main bad guy, Overlord. Here he is right here. Oh, look, oh my God. This is easily, easily the coolest vehicle ever. Damn. Damn an X-Wing. Fuck an X-Wing. I'm telling you that right now. Fuck an X-Wing. This is the coolest vehicle ever. This is the, uh, I think this is the, the Rimfire Cannon. <laughs> Look at this. You see this? So freaking cool, man. Love this thing so much. Um and I, it still it doesn't work. It's supposed to fire these little plasma balls. But like I said, here's the uh here's the main bad guy right here. His name is Overlord. He created uh the zone pods that would turn a section of the world into um into like into the zone pretty much and the people in the zone they would uh basically turn into these mindless zombies now the process can be reversed and uh these are the heroes and they had these suits that would make them immune to the zone and they would come in and uh destroy the zone pods and and the, and make the area free again so but my god and the and the weirdest thing about spiral zone i love them so much but I've only seen like maybe four episodes out of like their, uh, I think it was like a 65 episode run. And it never came on in my area. And I've only seen a handful of shows. Uh, it was never syndicated in my area. And I've only seen a handful of shows basically through VHS tapes pretty much. So, but I, but the toy line is just so cool. Look at the accessories in the toy line here. And there's one more, uh, one more of the good guys I still have to collect. So, and what was funny? I'm just now finding this out. The black guy, Max Jones. He was voiced by a white guy. That's racist. But yeah, loved Spiral Zone. Love Spiral Zone so much. One of the best toy. Probably it's the Nas Illmatic of toy lines. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> I said fucking X-Wing <laughs> I'm so subversive uh, Okay guys I'm going to show you something So dope 
So freaking dope. So sweet. So sweet. Come here. We are a family. Fight for them. And they fight for me. <laughs> Easily. Easily. My most prized possession. Do you hear me? Out of everything that I own that is collectible, this is my prized possession. All right. Transformers Jetfire. Second series, 1985. Um, back in 29, actually exactly 29 years ago, this week for my seventh birthday, I received a Jetfire. Um, I destroyed that fucking thing. And I had an opportunity to buy it again. Back in 2003, uh, shit, eBay was like the Wild West. People were getting scammed. Um, you know, if you win an auction, send a money order and, you know, you might get your item. You might not. I remember I got scammed like once. So, you know, a couple of years prior. And, and this was before PayPal was actually like the currency of pay, of uh, eBay. And this guy, he had a, oh, by the way, I paid $350 for this back in 2003, $350. Beyond worth it, by the way. And um, again, uh, I'm going to continue with the story. Um, this guy, I guess he worked for Pepsi and he got this from as like a gift or something like that because Pepsi and Hasbro were working together, yada, yada, yada. And he, I guess he stuck it in his closet, you know, from 1985 up, up until 2003 when he decided to sell it. And, um, oh my God, you got to look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. Now, a, a, a Transformers figure this big, you would expect a flap crease. Look at that. Do you see how clean this, this thing is? Do you see? Look at this. Look at that. No flap crease. It is so beautiful. Look at the tape. Look at the tape. Look at the tape. Look at the tape on this. Look at the tape. Oh. Supple tape. Supple tape. I'm telling you, out of everything that I own, this is my prized possession. This is my baby right here. Mm, look at you. Again, okay. But anyway, this guy, he uh, threw it up on eBay back in 2003. Um, the starting bid was 350. There were no takers because the guy had zero feedback. Um, you know, nobody trusted him and all that, you know, and at the last second, I'm just like, all right, I'll throw, you know, I'll throw the 350, you know, I'll throw a bid out there. I got it for 350. But before I sent the guy my money, I called him up and I made him, uh, set up a PayPal account so I could, you know, send Send the money, and if he didn't, you know, I could file a complaint, yada, yada, yada. So I made him do that, and a week later, this thing arrives in the mail, well-packaged, bubble wrap, all that stuff. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Sealed Transformers jet fire. Mm! Look at you! Ah, you're beautiful! Ah! Ah, look at you! But yeah, prized possession. I'm talking comic books, toys, comic books, all that shit. This is it right here. I'm saving you first. Now, if I got a a mint like Hulk 181 for 350, I just might change my tune. But until then, that Jetfire is my prized possession. All right, you know what? Let's go with since. I'm showing you a Masters of the Universe poster. Let's go with some Masters of the Universe. Here we go with uh, a Teela figure um, from, I forget what year this was, but yeah. You know, there's nothing major. By it's weird the Masters of the Universe classics Teela is probably worth more than this one. This is the original. Go figure, right? Ah, I got so much crap in the way here. Oh my god, I don't want to have to clean this up when I'm done. Oh, it's so much stuff. But I, I remember getting this for three... I, no, I paid 40 bucks for it back in, I think it was 2000. But I loved Tila, so I had to get it. You know, nothing major about it. 
I'm not sure how much this thing goes for, honestly. Probably doesn't go for that much, really. But I'm glad to have it. I was cracking my knuckles. I wasn't pooting. All right. On with some more Masters of the Universe. Now, this is the commemorative series from uh, 2001. Uh, I would love to, you know, spend a grip to get the original sealed He-Man, but I ain't really trying to do all that. So, uh, for me, uh, if, a, if a sealed reissue comes out, I'm jumping on that. Fuck buying the original if it's too much. So, there we go with He-Man. Trap Jaw. Battle Armor He-Man. Man at Arms. And... Battle Armor Skeletor. Just like in the poster. My goal was to try to collect... <laughs> my goal, the goal was, try to, was trying to collect uh, all the figures on here so I can recreate the poster. Um, I'm glad that goal kind of uh, fizzled, fizzled out for me. That's no longer my goal, so now I can save some time. <laughs> Did I show you this? I forget. Honest to God, I forget. Because I shot this video before, and it ran too long, and it cut me off. So Did I show you this? I forget. Encore Metroplex. I, honest to God, I forget if I showed you this. It's sealed up. I forgot how much I paid for it. And I have no clue how much it goes for. But I'm happy to have it. Ugh. What else do I have to show you guys? What? Ooh, come here. Come here. Here's something cool. Again, I would love to spend a couple of grand on, a, uh, on an original sealed Megatron. But I ain't trying to do all that. This is good enough. Here we go with, um, the, this is the first uh, Megatron reissue. This came out, I think, either 2000 or 2001. Um, how, how much does this thing go for? I forget. I, I think I paid like 135 for it back in the day. Um, and this was when um, the laws were changing and you couldn't bring like toy guns into the country. You know what I mean? Into, into the U.S. I remember that. And and I had and I bought myself a reissue Megatron already that I opened up. So I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Let me go ahead and buy another one just in case these things become impossible to find. But man, I love me some Transformers. But yeah, good stuff. Ah. Man, that is a terrible transforming, transforming job. But what are you going to do? All right, guys. I believe that's it. Oh, here we go with a... Uh, here's a reissue. I love Prowl. Prowl is probably one of my uh, favorite Transformers. And I had to get the... Uh, this is from 2002. Still sealed up. A lot of Transformers in here. A lot of reissue Transformers, which I'm fine with. Again, not the most extensive collection, but hey, it's mine, and I have some, and I do have some cool pieces in here. So, um, I believe that's it. And I, there's some more to show, but probably I'll save that for another time. All right. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, we'll uh, get back on the comic book train, toot toot, in a little while. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.